So let's talk about the any function. Any is pretty straightforward. All it's going to do is return true if there is any true value in a list. So let's go ahead and make some list. And uh, you know we'll we'll do some non-true values, right? So do zero 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 and then three. And uh, let's do list two. And this will be, you know, false, 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 and then a true. So the expectation here is that if we print any on list and any on list two, what we're going to see is, well, there we go, true, true. And we do. Now, if I remove this true, from list two, then we should see true and false, and we do. So if there's anything true in the list, any will return true. Now, why would you ever use this? Why does this matter? Let's consider, um, well, first off, first off, let's uh, simplify this and consider that uh, an empty string is false, right? And also that uh, you know false is false. Notice you can use mixed types here. In any, you can compare the truthiness of an integer to the truthiness of a string. That's uh, a good thing to remember. If I run this, it's false because we've got all zeros and we have an empty string here. Now, why would you ever use this? There are a number of reasons, but I'm going to just, just going to demonstrate something kind of boneheaded. Uh, let's say we have an empty list that is, sorry, it's not an empty list. It's a list of empty strings, and there's 30,000 of them. So let's print that, and let's go ahead and run that. Now, you could scroll up through this to try to see if there's any truthy values in here, but that's 30,000 empty strings. That's not a great plan for your evening. What I would say, you know, we can use any. Any is showing us that it's false. Now, let me just, um, for the 30th index, I'm just going to throw a cat in there. And let's see what that gives us over here in the terminal. Gives us true. Now, I could, again, I could scroll up through this. And eventually, maybe I'll see cat, but I'm probably going to just breeze right by it. In fact, I think I did just breeze by it or it's cut off in my terminal or something. So if you have this massive data structure, like a list that's 30,000 long, and you want to know if there's any truthy value in it, then you can run any on that list and you'll find out. Now, of course, that's a boneheaded example. You, you can use any to check the truthiness of a, an interim process, let's say, like where a list is collecting data, and if at any point, there's truthy data in that list, well, you uh, flag it as true.